Hey, good morning, everybody. So as you know, fall is quickly approaching. And one of the things that happens in the fall um, is one of these little guys comes out and, and <sighs> tends to make his home on the corners of our houses. How many guys have ever seen one of these? Yeah. Have you ever seen a spider hanging off the edge of the house? How many of you have ever walked into a spider web like that? How many of you have ever inadvertently just, it's been on the corner and you've walked right? Right in the middle of something like that. Years ago, I had a friend who lived next door and his wife one day was walking through the corridors between our two houses and she was acting normal, like no problem whatsoever. She was acting normal. And all of a sudden she became this crazy lady. She started screaming and throwing her hands up and just going nuts. And I giggled a little bit and I thought, and she walked right into one of those spider webs. How many of you guys have ever walked into a spider web? Immediately you get this sense of, I gotta get out of this thing. It's on me somewhere. And we go, well, you, you don't care what people think. You don't care what people say. You don't care what anybody thinks. You are doing what is necessary in order to get the spider off of you. Hebrews chapter 12 gives us that same, um, that same illustration. Hebrews chapter 12 says, Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight of sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Let us, what, what is that? Let us lay aside, or some, some translations say, throw off every weight of sin which clings so closely. Man, when you hit that spider web, the web is hard to get off. The webbing is hard to get off of you. And your mind goes immediately to, man, the spider's somewhere crawling on me. I've got to get it off, right? <clears throat> well, let me tell you something. One of the things that we need to do as believers is we need to do that same thing with sin. We need to get our the sin off of us. We need to just repent quickly. And as soon as the Holy Spirit convicts, we need to run from sin and get it off of us. What's the text say? Um, throw off, let us also lay aside, throw off every weight of sin which clings so close to us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. And how do we do this? Looking to Jesus, verse two, as the founder and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. That's what we're supposed to do. Run quickly from sin. Don't let sin just fester. Man, you treat sin as if it's that spider running, trying to get a hold of you, trying to crawl up, go right with the jugular. Like, that's the plan. That's the goal. We as Christians need to be quick to repent and quick to run from sin. So that's my hope for us this morning is we'd be quick to repent, quick to run from sin, and we would kill sin before it kills us. Love you guys.